I have this fish kelp fertilizer. You know, allegedly, organically, it's supposed to be the ideal, healthiest fertilizer. And I'm not even saying that it's not all natural or what have you. I'm just telling you what whoever's selling this is not going to tell you. And that's that my plants hated this stuff. All of them. The green crops, the cold crops, the hot crops, the partial sun crops, the full sun crops, the shaded, partial shade, the fruit trees, the herbs, the vegetables, the leafy greens, everything hated this stuff. And I got it because it was the most expensive up there at the time. It must be some kind of hoity-toity uh, over our pay grade business issue going on with what I usually use because it's very, very common and it's not on the shelves. What did I eat? It tastes sweet and fruity. I'm gonna do what I can to use up the rest of this fish kelp fertilizer on my stuff, just because I need to get rid of it. And my stuff needs to be fed, even though it doesn't like it, but what else? So after raining for about two months straight. Now hasn't rained for going on a week, I suppose. I'm trying this camcorder out. It's no better than my phone, really, but, and I appreciate my boo for getting it for me, but I don't need this, right? I mean, my phone, my phone, camera phone has been just fine. But anyway, since we have these features, red okra, they aren't extremely productive. Once I've harvested three uh, okra in one pot, so once both, like two plants have given me like three okra from that point on I can't keep up with it um, there's that apple tree I'm so jealous of oh you can see it really good now wow so can I just that's it so that's an apple tree yeah there we go there you go, there you go the apple tree. I'll put some new cucumbers up here because if I'm able to get any, and I don't think I will be able to, uh, I would like to just come right onto the deck and get them and not have to go on the side of the house in the cold. Here's my tomato that I should have had going just a month behind my other one, but you know, live and learn. Well, I can't say live and learn, I knew better. Here's my Cuties Mandarin, Meyer Lemon, Dead Honey Crisp Apple. Yeah, I'm gonna keep saying that till I get over it. There are my bell peppers that I started late and will therefore get a late harvest if at all. It's all my fault. Longevity spinach, lemon verbena. Whoa! <clears throat> oh. Oh, don't sit on me. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Oh, y'all. Oh, let me deal with that. Oh. Oh, really? There are, there are herds of birds making trips over the deck. I don't. Okay. <clears throat> so there's my raised bed. And I have my longevity spinach. 
I'm going to have a whole boatload of regular spinach because I eat it a lot when it's cool enough. And in fact, from now on, I'm just going to have my red lettuce and um, spinach for my salads. And the reason is because... Oh, okay. Okay. They're all at the top of that tree right now. Oh, no, 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 no. Let okay, let me deal with this. Anyway, that's my raised bed. Y'all know what the raised bed is. <laughs> These things on the table are my backup herbs and vegetables. Uh, my peppermint. You can see it gets obviously sad when it's thirsty, so that'll be fine by tomorrow. Actually, it'll only take an hour, and that'll be fine. It's comfrey. Kind of wish I had split it up and started growing some out outside, but I can it can wait till next year. Have my comfrey. Have French sorrel. These three came from uh, Super Smart Fox. I'm glad I'm doing a little more research first because I might want to just stick a pot out there and grow it that way. Um, there's my French sorrel and Malabar spinach, which I tasted, and it was bitter as hell. I don't know if it's something I'm doing or something my soil is lacking, but my salad leaf might... Really? Because I will... I take issue with you being there. Thank you. Actually, even my red leaf lettuce. But anywho, my um, my green leaf lettuce, like my Caesars and Samson seeded and things like that, even the greens in my mescaline mixes have been coming up bitter. Like even the new baby leaves bitter. So I wonder if my soil is just really has been just really lacking in um, fertilizer and nitrogen, nourishing elements for the plants. Back to this. See, already in the time that I told you this would feel better, this it already looks a little bit better. But you tomatoes actually there are three plants in there. Way too many for that pot. Verbena herb pot. I have harvested quite a bit from it. I have a couple of collars over here, which is fine. That's all I need. But I'm gonna go ahead and plant a few backups when I get ready to harvest these all together. Purple cabbage. I have several melons. Just some kind of mutated um, red okra. Even the okra are not coming out. Okra are not coming out really red. Nor is this plant healthy looking with the red striped leaves. And you know, you could just see it looks greenish. So I'm not comfortable uh, eating that just because I feel like it's some kind of mutated okra.